Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the events that led up to it, what's happening, and what's likely to happen moving forward. Now, many of you have seen this stove post. Before we would proceed with the announcement, we want to extend our apologies to all heirs and participants for the unfortunate incident regarding the E7 World Cup 2023. We appreciate your understanding, and it took some time to thoroughly investigate and determine the appropriate course of action regarding the misconduct of the E7 World Cup 2023 winner, Marguerite Winner, who was reported by some heirs. The Epic 7 organization team has conducted an internal investigation to confirm the facts regarding the misconduct by the player. Based on our findings, we intend the following actions. One, revocation of the E7 WC 2023 winner's title and permanent banning from future participation. We will revoke Marguerite's winner's title and disqualify him from competing, nullifying his tournament record. All related content and rewards provided to him, such as the Champion's Frame, Stamp, Hall of Fame record, will all be removed from the game. Additionally, we will update the description of the in-game ring to reflect the adjustments. Additionally, Marguerite's rights as winners will be revoked, including forfeiture of any prize money earned. Furthermore, the player in question will be prohibited from participating in future E7WC events, as well as any other tournaments and competition events. Number two, strengthening of player monitoring for E7 World Cup 2024. All participants, organizers, and other stakeholders involved in the competition are expected to uphold sportsmanship principles. To ensure fair play for all participating players, we will require webcams and voice participation. We will also enhance the monitoring system to ensure compliance with these requirements. While fully managing and supervising every player's environment in addition to competition may not be feasible, we will improve the aforementioned systems and strengthen regulations to facilitate immediate disciplinary action upon receiving of reports of misconduct. Three, strengthening the system to address abuse issues. We're committed to enhancing systems vulnerable to abuse, such as in-game qualifiers, to prevent potential exploitations. Moving forward for the E7 WC 2024 and beyond, we will ensure improvements to the systems so that unnecessary suspicions towards players for their gameplay can be avoided. Starting from the World Cup 2024, we will closely monitor matching data between accounts and players to prevent individuals from participating in the tournament using different accounts throughout the yearly competitions. Once again, we extend our apologies to all heirs and participants who have shown love for our Once again, we extend our apologies to all heirs and participants who have shown love for all the competition. For the E7 World Cup 2024, we are dedicated to creating a more transparent and fair gameplay environment. Thank you. So, the E7 winner Marguerite cheated. Shocker, I know, right? Because cheating in Epic 7 tournaments kind of become accepted as the norm. Well, maybe accepted isn't the right word, but it's always been present. Piloting, which is having somebody play your account for you for advantage in tournaments, ladder, etc., has been so pronounced that we legit saw a completely different person on camera running an account than was on camera in the prior World Cup season. But this one seems to be the proverbial straw that broke the camel's back for Smilegate. This case of stolen valor was pretty egregious. Having coaches literally in your ear, on call, feeding you advantageous information, people piloting your account, I, there's a Reddit thread. I'll, I'll link it in the description of the video that uh, has a video showing this happening. And it's pretty clear, right? One interesting thing about the situation is it comes with a strong dose of karma. You see, I mean, he did it. He did it. He got away with it. Scott free. He had, all he had to do was honor an agreement. That's how this all came to light. It was over a dispute where Marguerite couldn't agree to a price that his helper was asking for refusing to pay him what in my opinion was a very small percentage of the prize money 
is like less than 5% if I'm not mistaken, and it resulted in the entire discussion getting leaked, revealing his guilt. <laughs> Smilegate didn't like that. They didn't like that at all. So that's how he got caught. Now, what does this mean moving forward? Well, the first questions people seem to ask is, does this kill the child Senya unit that was Marguerite's reward? I don't think so. No, 100% this will not kill child Senya. I, I for one am not a fan of that unit and I don't like that it is coming as a result of the fruits of nefarious actions, but the unit tested well. The community liked it, largely liked it, and Smilegate for sure has invested development time and dollars into the unit. So killing that unit now would do more harm than good. It's not worth angering thousands of Epic 7 players and, and costing Smilegate money just to further thumb their noses at a cheater. Uh, it may not seem fair, but it is the right and smart thing to do. The second question is, how are they going to get their prize money back? Well, duh, they asked for it. Strongly. Aggressively. Probably in a firmly worded letter, drafted by an entire legal team from Smilegate. And if Marguerite does the right thing and returns the monies that, that he didn't technically earn, then that should be the end of it. If he refuses, if he ghosts Smilegates, if he just says no or tries to hide from them, well, then what comes next is up to Smilegate and their legal department. Um, I'm no lawyer, but it seems that the evidence is on Smilegate's side pretty heavily, and it for sure would cost Marguerite a whole lot more money to fight Smilegate off than, uh, than the prize money is worth. And couple that with the fact that uh, he'd likely lose. The evidence is kind of stacked against him. But Smogate has to wait. They have to weigh the cost of time and effort in going after the money legally, retaining lawyers in China, coordinating that. There's a lot to it. And they, they may or may not do it. That's up to them. Don't know. Um, I have sued for less. I'm currently suing for less. Look, I'm a subscriber of the 11th Commandment. Thou shall not get away with it. I have this guy who owes me $25,000 and he's ghosted me. He has stopped making payments on his balance and he's just ignored me for months. So my legal team is going up his ass as we speak. All of the costs of this is going to be tacked onto the settlement. That, that's how these things work. But my business is much smaller than Smilegate's business. Their cost of operations and the cost of litigation, they'll have to make that decision themselves. Hopefully it doesn't come to pass. Hopefully Marguerite does the right thing. And um, look, it's all speculation beyond that if he doesn't. I can tell you what though, if he doesn't do the right thing, if he doesn't return the money, his account's gonna get banned. I mean, no gaming company takes that kind of a financial hit and doesn't ban the account responsible. So I guess if you really wanna know if you return the money or not, see if he still has an account a few months from now. The third question is, what about Poopist? Poopist was the second place winner. Is he going to be first place now? Is he going to get the prize money? Will he be listed as the winner? I mean, where's the justice for Poopist? I suspect not. This is about punishing the guilty, not compensating the rest of the tournament players. I know that doesn't seem fair, but logistically it's a nightmare. Poopist has already received prize money for his second place win, his frame, his assets, his listing in the game, as have the people who placed below Poopist. And moving everybody up a notch and shuffling money and assets around, it's just a lot. It's a lot of extra expense, and I just don't see it happening. Fourth question is, what about others who clearly cheated? And uh, yeah, no. No, I, I, a guy gets pulled over for speeding and tells the cop, what about all those other people that were speeding? Yeah, you know what? They got away with it. Just like other cheaters got away with it. But now they see this guy being pulled over for speeding and everybody says, oh shit, the cops are out. And they slow down and they pay more attention. And that's the hope that's what's happening here. So yeah, forget the past. Forget the people that have cheated in the past. Any evidence you have. Smilegate is drawing a firm line in the sand saying this shit stops here and now. It's a big first step. 
It's a big first enforcement example being made out of Marguerite. And we have it on good authority that this isn't just a one-off thing. This is the first in several steps to bring some competitive integrity back to the World Cup. That E7 will be watching, and that they will be taking action where it's needed. Now, you may be sitting there saying, ah, Cap, they aren't going to do anything, and, you know, you may be right. But I, for one, am happy to see Epic 7 stepping up and saying, no, no more, this is not okay. We acknowledge that it's not okay, we acknowledge the players are not happy with it, and we're going to make changes to make sure that things are different moving forward. F around and find out. Have a great weekend, Epic 7.